Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, tonight going over to the good people at Three Brothers Brewing Company, based in Stockton on Tees, for their Irish Cream Milk Stout, 5.2% ABV. I've had this before on cask over at the Crown in Beeston. Uh, a fantastic local brewery to me. Sweet and creamy milk stout with notes of Irish whiskey, chocolate and vanilla. All the flavours you know and love just in the bigger glass. Uh, here it says this. Stand this can in the fridge for at least one to two hours before pouring into your favourite beer glass. Now the thing is here. Um, hops a challenger. Yeah and... Uh, I mean, it's in the shed. Shed's more colder than anywhere. Preferably, you know, I've got to be honest, I think you're better at room temperature. Um, but each to their own. I will try it, see how it cooks. Um, oh. Now here's a brewery that came to fruition with me about a year, about a year and a half ago now, uh, something like that anyway, a year and four months ago, at the Star in Beeston's um, annual Starfest. Um, usually have it in August. This year's event was absolutely lacklustre. Uh, I don't know whoever organised it wasn't great. Uh, too much reliance on ciders. The beer wasn't, I mean, the, the, some of the beers were okay, but it wasn't the best. But anyway, yeah, uh, the year before, so a, a year last August, um, 16 months, um, there are two from um, these good guys on, I think one was North East IPA, and the other one was Bitter X. Well, did they have three on? Because I'm sure that, well, I had three or four on, you know, because uh, I'm sure they had the Sticky Toffee Porter. That was on. And and some else. So, I may have been three or four on. Um, but since then, I, I've enjoyed some good beers from this brewery based in Stockton on Tees. So, up north. <laughs> up north of Nottingham, anyway. Um, from where I live. Um and yeah, and they do a wide range of beers, uh, going from IPAs to porters, and uh, you know, and a, and a great website to get them from. Plenty of cask options, seemingly everywhere at the moment. They really have become a, a brewery that I see a lot of, and that's great. In a time where you know you've got to sell your beers, you've got to get your beers out there, and to be to be running at it and doing well. Um, it's fair play to them. Um, so, as we can see, this is the Irish Cream Milk Stout. 5.2%. Uh, first time in can. Uh, I do have a spare can over there. So, um, one possibly will be going up the house to warm up for the wife to have, have a drink of later. Um, possibly. As I feel. Um, so yeah, black paw, white head. Uh, let's dive in. Chocolatey. And like I said, I've got to be honest, it tastes gonna taste better straight in warm conditions. It's not gonna taste it's premium at this condition, for me at least. Um, but we'll see, nonetheless. There's certainly a creaminess to it. Um, 
not getting the Irish whiskey notes yet. Certainly getting the sweet and creamy milk start. Yeah, getting that into chocolate, vanilla. Yeah, yeah, getting that. So, um, yeah, like I say, I've got literally um, 20 odd beers from this one brewery. So, by the end of 2023, or at least by about May, uh, they'll know a lot about like his beer reviews and what he thinks of their beers, rightly or wrongly, in a lot of cases. But um, hopefully, rightly, and uh, you know, go from there. And uh, yeah, uh, Irish cream milk star, a beer that ticks the raggy boxes. Uh, as for you know the what the beer sounds like, gotta be honest, sheds absolutely freezing. It's six degrees in here six or seven degrees but it feels colder it's not helping drinking cold beer to be fair but but the backdrop in here is so so much better than the backdrop in the house um you know can't win them all and i've got a load of the uh three brothers brewing beers to slap on the beer wall at some stage when i find some room i need to double cans up and and uh, make room, but uh, yeah, it's not easy. As someone who likes beers, and as somebody who reviews beers, um, it's as a hobby, of course, it's nice to be able to, um, to have so much choice. Because choice is, is great. You know, that ability to just pick a beer off the beer wall and, and enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like I, I can actually do, do some sorting out on this wall. So, yeah, I can see spaces where I can chuck another beer in. So that'll come sooner or later. Um, so. Yeah, it's lovely and creamy. Um, I mean, it tastes lovely. That's just I remember it in the pub, although the pub was warmer. It was a warm pub as well, that and that. Good, good vibe in, in, in the cram in, in Beeston. Uh, if anybody from Free Brothers Brewing ever comes down to Nottingham, uh, that area is an amazing area. And Crown Inn, oh, what a pub. Fantastic place for a, a big Free Brothers Brewing tap takeover. Cask on the, the outside bar, uh, cask inside, keg. You know, it, it would be some tap takeover. And I meet the brewer as well. Now, that would be awesome. Um, <clears throat> one can try and sow seeds. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's what I do. I'm a gardener. You know, we, we sow seeds. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully, anyway. Um, and as the year draws to a close, um, I've decided not to do a beer of the year brewery of the year or anything like that I uh, I kind of not interested this year if, if that's awful um, not that there's so many great breweries but I feel that the I've I do and review so much that uh, you know I've already said my piece and uh, you know in one video for people to tune in when they probably could have been doing the tuning in a lot earlier in the year and that, you know to, to find out uh, there are some beers out there that have been you know world class and yeah um but it also depends on the temperature as well because so i've had beers in here and then i've took them up the house let them warm up for an hour and they have um developed amazingly and um well, a couple of beers I'm going to take up the house tonight. Um, go and enjoy in the house. And uh, 
I sometimes forget that all these, like this Three Brothers Brewing order that I've got, it's a Christmas present. And I just do all his beer reviews. And sometimes it's nice to relax, drink a beer and think, yeah, I'm enjoying my beer. Uh, rather than just doing a particular review. Um, but anyway, I've let it breathe for a few minutes. Had a yak. And, uh, and I'm freezing, so I won't be out much longer. Um, so there we can see. Neon black pour. Uh, Whitehead. Irish cream milk stout. I mean... For me, there's many variations of this you can do. Um, especially if, if Baileys, Baileys themselves were to join up and collaborate. Now, that would be something. Uh, a Baileys Irish cream milk stand. Now, oh, wow. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, although these big companies, they'd want you to brew it, take a good portion of the things and you to get minuscule amounts. So... Maybe better staying as this. Definitely getting a vibe of. I'm getting the Bailey's vibe, but in a beer, it um, it does smell lovely. Like I say, does need to warm up, but certainly getting the aroma, certainly getting the taste. Albeit the temperature's a bit cool, and that's my fault. Nothing to do with the brewery, obviously. Um, but nonetheless, it delivers a nice beer. Um, I was looking forward to this, one of the beers I really was looking forward to, um, and it's certainly delivered. Um, oh, God. Pub, where you're tired. I've literally not much sleep for about a week or two now, so. Yeah, and a week of that's been due to that was weird. Uh, a severe cold, and then a week because of the new dog. So yeah, it's been it's been uh, interesting, uh, tiresome, shall we say? As it's warming up, those flavours are really coming out. Truly a nice beer. Um, would I drink it again? Yes, yes. I'm actually taking the can up the house to crack open with the wine. Um, and a couple of beers. I remember coming back down the shed today. Done the beer reviews, a couple of beer reviews. I've always got a couple banked up anyway. And that'll do me. Um, out of five... Good 4.5 out of 5 for this one. And a nice this addition to their range. Well done, Free Brothers Brewing. Thank you for watching. See you soon.